certainly a lot to discuss, a lot to examine, a lot to dissect after the San Francisco 49ers lost to the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game by a final score of 31-7. to And this is a game that really featured it all. For San Francisco, it got off to a disastrous start. First drive of the game, Brock Purdy gets injured, gets hit on his elbow, fumbles the football. From that point on, he had no feeling in his throwing hand. So then Josh Johnson, who set the record for being on the most teams in the history of the NFL, for an individual career, had to come in. And Kyle Shanahan, of course, was very conservative in this football game and didn't really allow Josh Johnson to throw the ball downfield. He goes out with the concussion. Brock Purdy then has to come back into the game as Christian McCaffrey, Kyle Juszczyk, the emergency quarterbacks for the Niners. And from that point on, as Purdy couldn't throw, the Eagles knew exactly what was coming. Then the game really got ugly. A lot of people out there are also going Going to try to point to the referees for the reason being that the Niners lost this game. I'm not going to chalk it up to the referees. We talked all week about some of the critical elements of this football game where San Francisco had to check off some boxes in order to make it to the Super Bowl. And instead, they're going down in the NFC Championship game for the second consecutive year. Yes, because of injuries, but also because of turnovers as they turned the football over three times in this game. Philadelphia able to capitalize. They committed numerous and countless dumbass penalties that cost them at multiple junctures in this game at critical spots. And San Francisco's defense had to rise up to the occasion as the number one overall defense in major statistical categories across the board against this Eagles' number one ranked offense. And San Francisco wasn't able to do that, in part because of the injuries that happened. San Francisco's game plan was put in flux, but I look at this game as a game that's going to really be remembered as the game where the Niners suffered an injury to Brock Purdy and that really cost them from the jump, but also a game in which they really hurt themselves with penalties, terrible offensive line play against this Eagles defensive front that had a league-high 70 sacks this year. That was one of the biggest keys that I talked about all throughout the week. If the 49ers offensive line does not hold up against the Eagles defensive line, they don't stand a chance. And because they suffered those injuries at quarterback, they couldn't run the football because everything was too predictable. They couldn't throw the football either because they couldn't drop back to throw it. Brock Purdy on the play that he got hurt, it was a play action. They wanted to take a shot downfield. Hassan Reddick, who just had a monster day and was a game wrecker in this game, got the pressure on Purdy. When Josh Johnson got hurt, he got hurt on a play that he tried to throw the football downfield and Indomitian Sue hit him. So the 49ers really weren't outplayed thoroughly in this football game. They just failed to check off the necessary boxes to win this game against another elite opponent. You can win games like this against inferior opponents, but Philadelphia is not that. This was a matchup, a heavyweight bout between two of the top teams in the NFC and San Francisco goes down in the NFC Championship game for the second year in a row. So I've explained what I feel about this. I want you to explain how you feel. Do you blame the refs? Give me a comment section. Why for yes and for no? Let us know. And if you want to be a part of our post-game show, use the hashtag 49ers or send a super chat to get on. Now when you look at the box score here, Philadelphia did dominate this football game. But they dominated it because San Francisco was sloppy. They turned the football over, and they committed numerous penalties to extend some of these Eagles' drives in critical moments, in the red zone and on third downs. 25 first downs for Philly, 11 for San Francisco. First down from penalties, 7 for Philadelphia, 0 for San Francisco. Third down efficiency, San Francisco, 2 of 8. Also 0 of 2 on 4th downs. Philadelphia, 5 of 15, 3 of 3 on 3rd downs. Philadelphia dominated time of possession, 70 to 45. Uh, in terms of total plays on top of that, total yards, 269. I mean, this is a Niners defense that gave up 269 total yards in this game. But the Niners, they shot themselves in the foot 
because they only had 164 total yards. And really what it came down to is that Philadelphia was able to run the football effectively. And this is something else that we talked about all throughout the week. You get a pass rush, you stop the run, you can win this game. The Niners really didn't get much of a pass rush. They didn't stop the run. They also couldn't protect Brock Purdy or Josh Johnson with their pass protection. Philadelphia running for 148 yards. That's the first time the Niners have given up more than 100 yards on the ground since week one. They hadn't given up more than 70, 80 yards to an individual player going back almost two seasons. And Philadelphia able to run the football very, very effectively. Now, our post-game show, before we start taking your questions and your Super Chats, is presented and brought to you by Athletic Greens. I gave AG1 a try because given my work schedule here at Chat Sports, combined with my training regimen as I've currently run for 252 straight days, I wanted sustained energy and I wanted to stay healthy by keeping my immune system strong and my body strong so that I can strive toward my professional work life and personal fitness goals. I take AG1 every morning as part of my routine, and it sets the table for the rest of my day. It's helped improve a couple of things here. My gut health, it's boosted my energy, supports my immune system, helps me recover since I'm putting such a toll on my body. I've also really prioritized my health since my mom passed away from cancer a couple of years ago. So because of that, I try to steer clear of chemicals and harsh ingredients, which is also why I love AG1. And it's 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. I simply mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and I drink it first thing in the morning or before and after my workouts. I also love that something this, that, that is this good for you in prioritizing your health and wellness costs less than $3 per day. So if a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Head to athleticgreens.com slash chatsports. That's athleticgreens.com slash chatsports. That link is in the comment section. It's also in the description of this video. Another big talking point that people want to get to before we start answering your questions here is fire Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan choked. Well, I mean, the 49ers were down to their fourth quarterback, in an NFC Championship game. And for them to even be here, to have won 12 games in a row prior to going down in the NFC title game is miraculous. Kyle Shanahan is a finalist for Coach of the Year for a reason. He had to oversee a season in which he had to change the offense three different times, from Trey Lance, Jimmy Garoppolo, to Brock Purdy. He had a rookie quarterback go 7-0 and in his starts. So to blame this on Kyle Shanahan when he had to go down a quarterback four in Josh Johnson, if only Jimmy Garoppolo could have been good to go, then this could have been a different game and more wild storylines. Do not blame Kyle Shanahan here. He's one of the best coaches in the NFL. He couldn't throw the football late because he didn't have a quarterback who could throw the damn football. What you want for an NFL organization is sustained success and opportunity year in, year out to win a Super Bowl. And if the 49ers had better health at that quarterback spot, we could be talking about a team that could punch their ticket to the Super Bowl to try to be on the quest for six. But going into next year, this is a team that once again should have Super Bowl aspirations, will have Super Bowl aspirations, and they just have to figure out quarterback. Other than that, if they stay healthy, this can be a team that once again is back in this spot. They made it to four NFC Championship games. Over the last five years, back to back, it's been a ridiculous level of sustained success for San Francisco. They can get back to the spot. So please maintain hope. So with that, who will start at quarterback for the Niners week one of next year? Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, a guy like Tom Brady. Let us know in the chat right now. Let's catch up on your questions and your super chats. Ha ha with the five. To the Philly fans, I apologize for our team losing their cool. I can assure you that it's out of character for our team. I wish we could have showed you our best. Niners not able to do that because of the injuries, but also they cost themselves in this football game. They lost their cool a little bit late. Emotions obviously riding high in this game. Toby Willis with the five. Congratulations, Eagles. Chase, you guys are the best. Really appreciate your support. Here on our watch party, we set a record for the most views by far in the history of the channel. 223,000, so I appreciate all of you who tuned in. Anthony, what? Losing their cool to fight, what did I say? 
Yeah, they lost their cool with the fight is what I also meant to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Anthony with the two. Once again, I was right, Chase. Super Bowl? Hey, you were right, Anthony, and I will eat the crow. I took the Niners to win this game. I was wrong. I'll gladly admit I was wrong. Kevin Romero, $5. Let us read Goodell and the refs' emails. I'm not saying the Eagles aren't good, but really 13 penalties on the Niners, three on the Eagles? Come on. I'm sorry, Chase, but damn. Kevin, here's my response to that. Dre Greenlaw, don't commit a penalty in which you face mass Boston Scott. Talano Hufanga, don't hit Jalen Hurts out of bounds when the play is clearly over. Don't commit penalties to help the Eagles extend their drives. That's what it comes down to. The refs did not decide this game. The Niners committing penalties and turning the football over did decide this game. Sugar Shane with 10. I hate saying and blaming refs, but what was up? This was automatic first down fest that clearly helped Philly, and I can handle losing, but not like this. Look, Niner fans, let me tell you this. Outside of the Dallas Cowboys, the 49ers have the biggest brand in the NFL. TV numbers back that up. The 49ers, for business, are better for the NFL than the Philadelphia Eagles. It's a larger brand with a larger fan base on a quest for six. The national media and national prototypes hate Philadelphia. So this game is not on the refs and the NFL and Roger Goodell for having the Eagles advance. It was 31-7. to The Niners hurt themselves and got hurt in this football game. Manual, fire crybaby Mike Shanahan. Well, he's not the coach. He's retired. Kyle Shanahan is the coach. And Mike Shanahan is his father. And they're not going to fire him. You want to fire a coach who's made it? to back-to-back -back NFC title games. He was on the precipice of being in two Super Bowls two times since 2019. Sustained level of success. You want to get rid of him? You want Jim Tom Sula? You want Chip Kelly? Come on now. Anthony with the five. After this loss, I hope we all realize what Brock means to our team. Our team felt that. Pass rush is a concern. Offseason, we got to address nose tackle and defensive line. Um, yeah, look, I'm not sure what the quarterback future is. For the Niners, I don't know if it's going to be Trey, Brock Purdy, if they're going to have a competition to battle it out to see who's going to be the starter. Uh, I thought that the Niners were able to get pressure early on against Jalen Hurts and confuse him. It just wasn't sustained throughout the game. They let DJ Jones go, and Javon Kinlaw has ended up being a bust. I'm not sure how much nose tackle is a massive priority. I think this team is stacked. They're well-equipped. They're one of the best teams in the NFL. Injuries just really crushed them today. Please make sure you subscribe to the show before we hop on out of here for our post-game show and continue to take your questions. News, rumors, live streams, watch parties all day, every day, year-round. This is your one-stop shop for the best coverage right here for the 49ers. Luscious Australian. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. My pops grew up in Melbourne, so I love all of our Australian mates. Chiefs time. I'm not a Niner fan no more. Unfortunately, we will not see a Niners-Chiefs rematch. Nicholas Allen with the two, rigged in the first eight minutes. Brock Purdy got hit by Hassan Reddick, and the ball came loose on a fumble. That's what happened in the first eight minutes. The Eagles went right down the field, 66 yards on 11 plays, the first drive of the game. Niners couldn't stop them. That's not rigged. That's not rigged. More Super Chats continuing to pile in. We'll answer those here. One more from Joshua Mess, 99 cents. We appreciate that, Josh. You're the man. Grade the season. A, B, C, D, or F before we hop on out of here. Let us know down in the comment section. Grade the season. What do you think of it? A, B, C, D, or F. We appreciate all of your support during this season. It's been a magical ride. Best year to date here on the 49ers Report. I have nobody to thank but all of you for supporting us. Thank you.